Scientists have found two exoplanets orbiting a red dwarf around 120 light years from Earth, including a super Earth. The research, published in Astronomy and Astrophysics, notes that exoplanets TOI 1266b and TOI 1266c are so close to their star that it takes them just 11 days and 19 days to orbit it. The inner planet, TOI 1266b, is considered a sub Neptune as it measures around two and a half times the Earth's diameter. The outer planet, TOI 1266c, is just over one and a half times the size of our planet, landing it in the super Earth category. Both TOI 1266b and c have similar temperatures and are believed to be of similar densities and are comprised of about half of rocky and metallic material and half water, the researchers suggested. This makes them half as rocky as Earth or Venus, but much more rocky than Neptune or Uranus. Their host star, TOI 1266, is a red dwarf. Red dwarfs are the smallest and coolest kind of star, which the researchers note could allow for liquid water to exist even on planets that orbit quite close to them. The outer planet has a temperature similar to that of Venus, even though it is seven times closer to its star than Venus is to our Sun. The researchers were led by scientists from the University of Bern and the University of Geneva and used the St. X Observatory at the National Astronomical Observatory of Mexico. A press release on the discovery from the University of Bern mentions that the scientists completed their observations shortly before the COVID-19-related lockdown in Mexico. The St. X Observatory remains closed, although scientists hope to resume operations in the next few months. More than 4,000 exoplanets have been identified by NASA. One of the most recently discovered is an incredibly rare super-Earth near the center of our galaxy that has an Earth-like orbit and about the same size as our planet. Astronomers from the University of Canterbury in New Zealand have discovered a new super-Earth orbiting a star located near the Milky Way's galactic bulge, a dense region of stars in the center of our galaxy. This rare super-Earth is 25,000 light-years away. It is one of only a handful among the 4,000 exoplanets to have been detected that is similar to Earth in both size and orbit. According to their research, which was published on May 7th in the Astronomical Journal, the world is four times the mass of Earth. It orbits a dim dwarf star that is only 10% the mass of our Sun. This star is so small that the researchers could not determine if it is a low-mass star or a kind of failed star called a brown dwarf. The newly discovered planet orbits at a distance between Venus and Earth from its parent star. But because its star's mass is so small, a year on this world lasts 617 days. To find the planet, the researchers used a method called gravitational microlensing, in which the gravity of large objects bends light coming from other objects. In this case, the super-Earth and its star warped the light from a more distant star. The microlensing effect is rare, with only about one in a million stars in the galaxy being affected at any given time, according to the University of Canterbury's news release. The Kepler spacecraft lifted off on March 6, 2009 from Cape Canaveral. Its mission? To find Earth-like planets. When Kepler retired in 2018, after more than nine and a half years in space, it had observed more than 530,000 stars and discovered more than 2,600 confirmed planets. But not all of these planets are like Earth. In fact, hardly any are. The most common planet observed was between Earth and Neptune in size, a world that does not exist in our solar system. To be considered Earth-like, a planet needs to be similar in size to Earth. It needs to rotate around a sun-like star, and it must be located in a habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone. How many habitable planets did Kepler find? Perhaps as many as 12, NASA reckoned. Add one more to that list. Analyzing old data from Kepler, a team of transatlantic scientists has found that a computer algorithm had misidentified this planet, Kepler 1649c. They detailed their findings in a paper released on April 15th in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Kepler 1649c is an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting in its star's habitable zone, 300 light years from Earth. Kepler 1649c's star is called Kepler 1649, hence the planet's name. Among all the exoplanets discovered by the Kepler spacecraft thus far, Kepler 1649c is most similar to Earth in size and estimated surface temperature. The planet is just 1.06 times the size of Earth, 
and it may share similar surface temperatures since it receives 75% of the amount of light Earth receives from the Sun, though it orbits a red dwarf star, which may be prone to frequent flare-ups. Kepler-1649c orbits the red dwarf so closely that a year on Kepler-1649c lasts only 19.5 Earth days, but it lies within the star's Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on the planet. Kepler-1649c has a neighboring planet, Kepler-1649b. Kepler-1649c circles the red dwarf four times for every nine times the inner planet orbits. This 9 to 4 ratio is rare and may indicate the presence of another planet, which scientists have not observed because it may be too small or have an orbital tilt that makes it hard to find. Scientists are still combing through the vast data set gathered by the Kepler spacecraft, and they'll probably come across more planets like Kepler-1649c. MIT scientists just shot down a popular theory for why lava ocean planets are so bright. Here's what they found. Hot super-Earths are fiery rocket planets orbiting so close to their suns that their surface is heated to lava oceans, and some of those lava worlds, which are roughly Earth-sized, are also extraordinarily bright. According to new research in the Astrophysical Journal, hot super-Earths circle their host stars in 10 days or less, and they reflect 40% to 50% of their star's light. In contrast, Earth reflects only about 10% of the sun's light. The researchers melted basalt and feldspar at laboratory conditions and then took spectrometer measurements of how much light the substances gave off. The results suggest that lava accounts for only 10% of a hot super-Earth's light. The researchers speculate that lava ocean planets do not owe their brightness to molten lava or cooled glass, as formerly assumed. Instead, the scientists speculate that their brilliance may have originated from metal-rich atmospheres and reflective clouds. First author Zara Asak is cited as saying, We still have so much to understand about these lava ocean planets. She adds, We thought of them as just glowing balls of rock. But these planets may have complex systems of surface and atmospheric processes that are quite exotic and not anything we've ever seen before. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.